fix it without holding it. I don't want you to have to hold it. That would be a sad, sad length of time. <laughs> I don't think I have a glare now at all. Let me see. No, no glare. Perfecto. Okay. I think it's a little bit that way too much. There we go. Now we're perfect. <laughs> You're always perfect. Oh, I try. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was exciting in the chicken house. We didn't catch it, but Jim said he should have brought his, his pellet gun in because that little rat that's in there was bold, came out during the day, and the chickens were walking around ignoring it. They've had too many treats, and they don't. Mm -hmm. They never go after mice or, or no. snakes or snakes nothing. Snakes or mice or rats. No, or they nothing. don't. They don't do any of that that stuff. So, anyways, he ran up to the barn and got his pellet gun. And I said, "You should keep it where I know where it is," because I didn't even know where it was. Otherwise, I could have gone and got it, and he could have watched where the little thing went, because we have no idea where it went. It was gone when he got back. But tonight, it's going to have to watch out because there's going to be traps. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have a little video I want to put in. You might want to walk around the yard with me. So let's just go to that video. Those are not the bad hawks in the sky. Yep. There's four of them in the sky. Five. Five? Where's the fifth one? One over there. One, two, up high. three, four. Oh yeah, I see the fifth one. Oh Way wow. High, and then there's another one down low. Oh, wow. There's six. Apparently they think there's something in the area. There's Mr. Jim with me. I don't know if you can see him or not. I think you can. I think so. I'm hoping so. I'm going to walk over to the garden because I wanted to show you what happens if you don't put down black. What is that? Black cloth? Or, uh, no, the cloth stuff. Um, Weed barrier? Weed barrier, yeah. If you don't put that down, you'll get volunteer foods. And I got volunteer tomatoes. And we picked them. I'll show you what we picked. And I've thrown about 15 of them to the chickens. And I've eaten probably a good 10 or 12. And Jim's eaten a few, too. I don't know how many he's eaten. But before we get to the tomatoes, let me show you the artichokes. What they look like. And there's a bee over here, but there's a big bee, two big bees, or a bees over there, two of them. That's what they look like. They get these beautiful flowers. Now, these are past, I can't eat these if I wanted to. They're kind of beyond, but I like the color of the purple flower that it makes. And the bugs and the bees like it too. Here's my sunflowers from Rusty. Unfortunately, the deer have bit their heads off. And they're sort of getting a top on them again, but they're nothing like last year's. They were so tall last year. Well, here's the volunteer tomato plants. I have volunteer tomato plants all around this compost pile. And I have sunflowers. Those are the ones that have the double heads and triple heads and many heads. But these are the tomato, some of the tomatoes that came off of that volunteer. These are delicious. I'm going to eat them with bacon bits, mayonnaise, and boy, they're good. It's like eating a bacon, it's like BLT. eating a BLT without the bread. No lettuce, no bread. No lettuce and no bread. You buy the real bacon bits, not those phony bologna ones. But as you can see, well, what are you finding? A weed? He keeps pulling weeds. You can't stop. You're like my mother. She used to constantly be pulling weeds. Oh, there's a few more in here that I missed. Uh-oh is right. Uh-oh. Oh, grab it. There's another. Oops, that one's one for the... Probably for the chickens. I'll put it in there. There's another one for the chickens. 
I'll put those close together so that they can... Oh, there's another one that's sort of reddish over here. Oh, and that one's a chicken one, too. That's a chicken one. Chickens will like getting those. Well, today the humidity is a lot lower. We've actually got... I don't know if my glasses have darkened up. Have they darkened up? Yeah, not Whoa. too bad, but they're... That's the reason I didn't want to get the photo gray coating on it or whatever they put on or lenses, transition. transition lenses that they gave me. I should show Gail's Country Living my flowers that she, she had sent me seeds a year or two ago and I kept planting them and I wanted, I told her that they were in full bloom and I'll show you how full bloom they are. They're looking really good. Do you remember the crab apple? They have flowers. Now they've got little apples. This is the flowering crab. The deer love these, and so do the birds. Especially in the winter time. Yep. Look at how beautiful these flowers are. There's a weed in here. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna pull it out. Look at that purplish pink. That's gorgeous. Oh, there's a bee on that one. Be careful, there's a bee. This thing here is no good. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's got to go. That's not a, that's not a flower. Hopefully it doesn't pull up my other plants. Coming up right with Maybe another it. one, so. It's you might have to just it. Ch chop it off because it's, yeah. aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness, and my marigolds are doing great too. I planted marigolds in here just because they seem to spread. How pretty the marigolds are. Is that a weed? Just cleaning out the weeds. In action. And I have had him keep the milkweed here because the monarchs, they need food. Even though, even though these are not a flower, I wanted the milkweed to stay because I'm hoping they will that the, have flowers on them eventually. I know, but milkweed. I'm hoping that the monarchs, nobody's eaten on them, so they haven't found them. I was hoping that they would find them and start chomping, and I could maybe help them survive. I guess it's time to go in the house, back in. Too bad earlier I didn't have my Fitbit on because I was chasing a chicken earlier. Isabella had gotten out of the fence and she really was running fast. You wouldn't know how fast those chickens can run till you have to run after one. Here they come. We'll give them a little bit of a snack. There's Mr. Brown. Give Mr. Brown one. Whoops, it hit you, Mr. Brown. There you go. They all didn't come. They've been... They've been getting a lot of snacks, a lot of goodies today, and I think they've had their fill. They like tomatoes, though. The outdoors is really nice right now. The temperatures are in the upper 70s, and the humidity is down, so it's not too bad. I actually sat in the sunshine and enjoyed it. I watched the chickens. I took Mr. Brown out of the main run for a while and let her walk around in the garden. And I said to Jim, I put the chicken in the garden because usually we shoo them out of the garden, but I put her in the garden. And she ended up jumping out of the garden, but she's very, very, she doesn't touch anything. She's not supposed to. She's a good chicken. Well, I hope you all had a great day, and I'll see you all when I see you again. Bye-bye.